Hey everybody, it's Mats over here at RevoHTPC.com and I'm going to be doing the review of the new Flash 10.1 Beta 3 that just came out this last week. Um, and real quick, um, so I'm running the Acer Aspire Revo AR1600, uh, which is the single core model. Um, and it has 2 gigs of RAM uh, hooked up to my TV here. And we're just going to do a little testing here. I uh, installed it a few days ago and overall it seems to be pretty good. So let's jump right into it. Um, I have my task manager so we can see our CPU usage. Um, the first thing we're going to test is the avatar trailer. Um, and we're going to go ahead, it's already in 1080p. And we're going to go ahead and zoom in so you guys can see the CPU usage uh, of the trailer while it plays. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing, so you guys know, so we got 1080p down here, in case you guys can see that. Um, and let's go ahead and just play it. And the volume should be pretty low, so you can actually just see the CPU usage. So we can see it's, it's hovering at about 40, 50, 40% or so. Um, this, this video is fully buffered already so I let it load completely uh, so overall CPU usage is pretty low um, and pretty impressive so if we zoom out to so you guys can see the video uh, it is very smooth and just how you want flash video to be um, on the Revo so let's go ahead and boot this up to full screen mode and get out of here Bam. so Right here, you got the Avatar trailer playing in 1080p, full screen, uh, and you'll see a little, uh, the camera itself is going to autofocus, so it's not quite the best the best video. So let me pull up one more video here real quick. Uh, but as you can see, the video playback is, is nice. Uh, it's comparable to probably Beta 1. Uh, I think it's a little bit smoother than Beta 1. Uh, beta 2 worked all right in YouTube when you let it fully buffer, but full streaming wasn't great. So one more test that I'm going to do here is the NVIDIA uh, Pure Video HD test. Um, and let me go ahead and pause this. And this time we're going to let it change it to 1080p and then we're going to let it stream uh, and play at the same time and full screen and as you can see here the video playback is just fine again looks to be buffering oh it's still paused There we go. So the video is streaming this time across, so it's not fully buffered out. And video playback is great. So there's YouTube test done. Now most people are going to be interested mostly in probably Hulu content. So we'll go ahead and go to Hulu and go down to the Daily Show. And our test here will be the latest episode. We'll run in their 480p mode full screen and see how it performs. And of course Hulu is a bit slow. So go ahead and let it load up here. And with beta 2, um, I thought Hulu was completely unwatchable. Uh, whereas beta 1 seemed to work just fine. So little advertisement, switch to 480p, and then we'll go full screen. And again, we can see, if you guys can see that it is smooth and very watchable. Now, of course, Hulu, on uh, through the browser, so this is through IE, isn't quite as, quite as great as it would be via Hulu desktop, so that'll be our next test. So let me go ahead and exit out of here, and we will go ahead and boot up 
uh, Media Center, and I'll show you guys the uh, Hulu desktop integrator real quick. This camera really likes to autofocus a lot, so it's one of my friends. I'm borrowing it, so. So let me go ahead and just jump right into the uh, Hulu desktop integrator. And this will close out Media Center and bring up Hulu desktop. And then when I ask, exit Hulu, it'll bring up Windows Media Center again. So, and I believe I was already watching the office, the latest episode at high quality. So we're going to see it takes a little bit to get buffered fully. But after that, at high quality, which is going to be better than the browser, uh, playback is just fine again. So this is great for people that own the Revo or any other Ion uh, Atom based home theater PC that you guys can watch Hulu, high quality, 1080p, uh, well 1080p on the resolution, just fine. So we'll go ahead and exit out of here. And we can see obviously Hulu is a little bit slow through the menu. We exit out of here and we'll be prompted back into what is Media Center? We're going to do our last test, which will be Internet TV, which I still am not 100% sold on. Um, but they're adding to it slowly. Uh, I think my main gripe with it is that the just feels slow and not as good as it should. And the quality of the videos aren't necessarily amazing either. So I'm just going to pull up one of the Wired videos here. I've done some testing with like How I Met Your Mother and a few other of the uh, CBS content. And it seems to play all right. Sometimes you have to let it buffer for a little bit. Um, but uh, it, it sort of depends uh, on some of the videos, how they play. But overall, they've still been able to play all right. So we'll just play this one. And it should go right into maybe an advertisement, then go into full screen mode. So I have to wait about 10 seconds here. And hopefully I don't run out of time in my YouTube video here. So here we go now, this is the PBS video actually playing and pull up Wired and as you can see it is fine. And this is great. I think this is even a little bit more improved than Beta 1 uh, in the internet TV realm. So one final thing that I saw, even though the quality isn't as great, um, in case anyone is wondering, uh, I have a few minutes here, we'll go and actually view some Silverlight content, which would be the Zune uh, podcast series. And we'll visit the good guys over at H... Or, HD Nation, so if you uh, need to ever get caught up on the latest and greatest in high definition stuff, TVs, home theater, PCs, anything like that, these guys are great and they do a weekly video podcast um, over at Revision 3 and it's available through the video podcast. And the thing that I really like about the video podcast through the Zoom is that the quality is great. I think it's 720p um, and it's very snappy, um, loading and the playback is just great, as you can see. Very similar to Netflix and, and how, it, how it streams because it uses the same technology. So overall, I'm gonna give a thumbs up to, uh, to the Flash 10.1 Beta 3. So if you don't have it yet, go ahead and download it. The links are on the website. And again, this is Mats over at RevoHTPC.com. And you can always follow me on Twitter at Revo HTPC. If you have any questions, stop by the site, email me, or leave a comment. Thanks.